In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a couple of basic voltage readings off of the power board of this Canon 60D. Now this isn't an absolute method of testing the board. You may also get these same readings that I'm about to show you and the board could still be bad. But if your tests show that the voltage is considerably different, then that is a good indication that the board is bad. There's a couple of things that we're going to have to do first so that we can fire the camera up without having the back cover and the front cover on the camera. The first thing is that we're going to have to slide something in between this piece of metal here that moves up and down and the bottom or the back side of this main board. This is actually a switch and when this is up the camera won't fire up. This needs to be pushed down so we'll just insert a piece of paper or a piece of tape in there temporarily while we're testing. So I've inserted a piece of tape here so now that lever is pushed down. Next we'll put the battery in and we'll push the door down but we'll hold it down in place and put a piece of tape on there to keep it down. We have to do that because the latch for the door is on the back panel of the camera. Well, the first place that we're going to test is we're going to put the probes on these two connections right here, these two solder joints. This is actually the back side of the contacts that are inside the battery compartment. The one on the left is positive and the one on the right is the negative. Now we can also use this solder joint down here on the end of this wire as a place to test because it's also connected to this. For these readings, set your meter to DC voltage. So we can see that we've got right at 8 volts on the battery. So what this does, this actually shows us that the battery is good and that the connections from the battery up to the power board are good. The next two places that we're going to test are at connection points that have plugs. This one that we're going to test is actually the power feed for the bottom board. And the second place that we'll test is right here at this plug. And this jumper feeds power to the SD card that's underneath the main board. For the next readings, we're going to need to turn the camera on. And in order to do that, we're going to need to hook this flat ribbon cable that's on the top piece back to the socket on the main board. The way I do it, just hold the top piece up at an angle and get it down as far as you can to where that cable reaches the socket. Then push it on. And just leave the top piece at an angle like that and that'll give us access over here to the power board. Just turn the switch on and you should see the LCD display come on. For these readings, we can go ahead and hook the negative probe right onto the metal bracket of the camera. Because that metal bracket here, this framework, is actually connected to the negative side of the battery. We'll put the positive probe right on the rightmost pin. Now we can see we've got just under 8 volts there. So that's pretty much equivalent to what we read on the battery. Next we'll read the middle connection on this plug and that goes to a black wire. So that's already at the negative potential of the battery so it should read zero volts. On the connection on the far left side of the plug which goes to a red wire 
when we test it there we can get a reading anywhere from 0 to 4.75 volts. And we can see right now it's pretty much at 0 volts. The interesting thing about this is if we spin the dial above the shutter release button or push the shutter release button or any of the buttons on the top it charges that circuit up to 4.75 volts and whenever we stop pushing it or spinning the dial then it starts to drop back down to zero so I'll spin the dial again and you can see it jumps right up to 4.75 and as soon as I stop spinning it it starts to drop again so you can do that with any of the buttons including the shutter release button so now we'll test the red wire on the back of this plug right here this is the one that goes down to the SD card all you have to do is just put the probe in alongside the wire and we can see that that's also got pretty much uh, the 8 volts that we saw on the battery so that shows you a couple of places that you can test on the power board to get an idea of whether it's good or bad now like I said earlier you may also get those same readings that I just showed you and the board could still be bad but if you're not getting those readings or something real close to it then that probably is a good indication that the board is defective.